Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the Sally Hansen and Sour Patch Kids collaboration collection. This is a Halloween collection. I'm a little bit late with sharing, but here we go. It's a six piece collection. We've got a couple creams in here. We've got a few toppers. And then we have these glow in the dark additions here. Now these two aren't part of the core collection. So they have been released alongside these polishes. And by the way, these will be available on Amazon. Amazon. So let's get right into the swatches. First up we have Pump Kid. This is a gorgeous rich orange cream polish. First coat we get some really good opacity and, and then it builds up really beautifully into two coats. I love this one. It is such an even application and finish. Now the Insta Dry collection does feature a wider brush. It's one of my personal favorites. It applies so evenly, so beautifully and I just, absolutely love this polish and the cream polishes from this line. Next we have Unread and this is a bright gorgeous candy red polish. It's almost a one coater but it definitely applies best in two. This is so close to the red sour patch candy and I just love it. So next up we have one of the first toppers which is called First Sour Then Sweet. This one is a white glitter in a clear base. This is supposed to mimic the sweet sour sugar that covers the Sour Patch Kids candy. I love this. I think this is so much fun. You can literally just apply this to any cream that you have and turn your manicure into Sour Patch Kids candy. The glitter spreads really well and evenly. You can apply about one or two coats. I'm applying two here because I I just love that sugary sweet look to the nails. Next we have Full Moon and this is a little bit different from the other ones. So this one actually has a jelly teal base and then it has the white glitters actually included. So you don't need to apply that white glitter topper that we just looked at. It's already built into the polish. This is probably the best recreation of the sour candy look. On the first coat, it's definitely very sheer. We can expect that with a jelly polish and the jelly formula allows those white glitters to really hold well into the polish. You can do about three or four coats. You're not gonna get full opacity just of course because of that jelly nature, but it works because this collection of course is meant to mimic that soft candy sugar covered look. And I just feel like this polish really nails that. It does dry down slightly gritty and not very shiny, but you can easily resolve that with a top coat. Here's a close up of how it looks. I just want to show you how well those white glitters layer. So it creates so much depth and dimension. And I just love, love, love this look. So next we have Ghoul's Night Out and this is a beautiful black cream polish. The first coat is quite sheer. I wouldn't say this is a one coater, but you could probably get away with one if you were just very generous on that first coat. But I would say this is more of a two coater. Personally, I don't understand the addition of the black cream in this collection, but we'll get into that in the review portion of this video. Now let's take a look at the next topper. So this one is called Hello Queen and this is a glitter topper and it's got these large pieces. There's a muted orange, a black and a holographic square shape in there. And these are all into a clear base. I'm gonna show you how this one applies over a couple base colors. Here I'm using the red of the collection and on the first coat, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys and let you know that I do not like this. And I will tell you why. So the first reason is I don't think it applies evenly. The way it applies is some areas will, you'll get no glitter and in some areas you'll get too much glitter. And I just feel like it's way too fussy. 
And as you can see on the application, you kind of have to play around with the glitters too much to get the look that you're looking for. It just feels like a lot to kind of get it to work out. And then you're just not getting a smooth application. The second reason is it's not very versatile. So we've got these orange, black, and hollow glitters. To me, it looks best on a white base. The minute you put it on other colors, I feel like the color from the glitters tend to disappear you don't really see them very well, especially if you're gonna top this over a black polish, you just lose those black glitters. And then if you put this over an orange polish, you lose the orange glitters. It's definitely a fun topper, but I just don't feel that it has the versatility that I would love in a topper. But mind you, I'm also not a fan of these big glitter toppers in the first place, but just speaking on the formula itself for this one, it, I'm just not a fan. Okay, so now let's get into the glow in the dark shades. The first one we're gonna be looking at is called Fabulous. I love glow in the dark polish. Here it is in the light, here it is in the dark. Very spooky. This is my first glow in the dark polish and it was so much fun to play around with. So on the first coat, it's just very, very sheer, almost nothing. You can barely see it. You put on your second and third coats, you start to see a little bit of those glow in the dark pigments. It's very subtle. You can wear it on its own like I have here, or you can layer it over a nail polish. Either way, when those lights go out, they both look the same. <laughs> very awesome polish if you just wanna try out glow in the dark polishes. So if you do choose to layer this over a cream, for example, it does change the color just in the slightest. It's still glow in the dark and this is definitely a very intense glow in the dark effect. So the last glow in the dark polish we'll be looking at is this one called Creep It Real. And this is a very sheer pink polish and it's got these subtle pink shimmers that run throughout. So as I said, this one is glow in the dark as well. You don't really see that yellowish pigment as strongly in this one. And in turn, when you do turn out the lights for this, the glow in the dark effect isn't as strong. It's such a pretty pink polish. Okay, so let's talk. This is the more talk, less polish portion of the video. This is just personal opinion. It's not necessarily fact. I just want to share some of my thoughts. I'm also gonna be focusing just on this collection specifically and not any of the past or future collections. So I have a couple points to make. The first one I wanted to talk about is the color palette. I'm just gonna say like, I'm a little confused. I don't really understand where the black cream polish comes in and the glitter topper. I didn't see how that connected with the Sour Patch Kids theme. The first thought I had was which one's supposed to represent? I think those ones could have been left out. The rest of the colors work great. I love the blue. It is uncanny how identical they got that polish to an actual blue Sour Patch Kid candy. The red is great. The orange is perfect. The second point that I wanted to get to was of course the texture and finish selection. My question I guess is what was the decision to have one polish have that jelly base with the white glitters that really truly gave us the Sour Patch Kids look and then why the other two ended up being just cream polishes. I would have really loved to see the red and the orange polish have those white glitters just like the blue polish and really drive home that Sour Patch Kid looked. I love the addition of the white glitter topper to give us that sour candy look. I, I think that is such a great idea. You know, they really could have been like, hey, make any Manny a Sour Patch Kids Manny, right? With that topper, because it really is versatile. You can really layer this over any cream polish and get that candy look. I definitely think that should have been included. However, I do feel those other two creams should have just been a jelly with the white glitter, just like the blue polish. 
The topper is really fun. I love the colors included. Definitely they nailed it for making it Halloween themed with the orange, black, and hollow glitters. However, again, I still don't see how this one connects to Sour Patch Kids candy. Now overall, I think this is a fun collection in general. Apart from the mixed glitter topper, I think the formula for these are beautiful. I always love the Insta Dry formulas, so I definitely wasn't disappointed on that. I think they all applied very well. Where I think this collection could have gone is that maybe we just included those typical Sour Patch Kid candy colors, had that white glitter topper, and then added a few more colors. Like, let's see the yellow Sour Patch candy color. Let's see the green in this one and left it at that. And then do a separate collection and make it like a Halloween trio or a Halloween quartet and feature the mixed glitter topper, the black cream, and those two glow in the dark polishes. Just make it a separate thing. Because they've released this collection just right before Halloween, I could see it as a Halloween collection just being Sour Patch Kids candy colors. Again, I really love these polishes individually. I think they apply extremely well. Apart from the mixed topper, there was a bit of a disconnect, a bit of a mismatch between the color palettes and the textures, in my opinion. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What did you think about the color selection, this collection in general? Sound off in the comment section below. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. Thanks so much for joining us. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.